This podcast is sponsored by Monster Donut, the chain donut shop that just keeps popping up, spawning in near a demigod, near you, and Psych, solving Santa Barbara crimes using the psychic abilities of the one and only Sean Spencer. Hello and welcome everyone to the Coasters Explained podcast, the podcast that no one but you listens to. Today's topic is mountain or alpine coasters. I am, as always, your host, Everett Johnson, and from Kiev, Ukraine, I will be taking you gliding and twisting through today's topic of mountain coasters. Uh, some news since the last podcast aired exactly, exactly one month ago. Uh, first, I discovered that there is another roller coaster podcast by the same name of Coaster Talk, and upon their request, I have changed the name to Coasters Explained. In addition to the name change, my coaster credit has increased to 47 with me riding the Rodelbahn mountain coaster in Bukovel, Ukraine. And with that update, on to the podcast. We will be kicking things off today with our new segment, On the Lift Hill, where I will be reviewing coasters that I've ridden. Today, as you may have guessed, I will be reviewing, reviewing Rodelbahn in Bukovel, Ukraine. Now, this was the first Alpine coaster I've ever ridden, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Uh, I rode with my brother in a single car, disconnected from any other cars. The ride itself takes you up a lift hill at the bottom of a ski slope to almost the top of the mountain. You then wind your way down the mountain, through the woods, going through helixes and a series of banked turns. The entire ride is 1,500 meters, and the lift hill takes up a good third of that. In general, my main compliment and praise of this ride is really something that people will come to expect from most, if not all, mountain coasters. It's just beautiful scenery. The view from the ride is absolutely breathtaking. Just going through the woods and back out next to literally a ski run, looking down into the valley, I would say 9 out of 10 for scenery. Alpengeist tries to have the theme of a ski resort. This ride is literally at a ski resort, and you cannot do much better than that. As for the speed and intensity of the coaster, I cannot give you the exact numbers, seeing as the cars are fairly light and the weight, meaning that the mass of the riders can make speed very significantly. This, in combination with brakes on the rides themselves, which I did not use, makes it difficult to get a precise average speed. I would estimate the speed to be about 25 miles an hour or 40 kilometers an hour. The actual pacing for this ride is quite good. The intensity was a bit lacking, with most coming from the second helix. It is about as good as you can get on an alpine slash mountain coaster. While I like a faster and more intense ride, this is is what I about expect from a mountain coaster. I would give it 6 out of 10 for intensity and speed. Finally... Unique elements. Besides the different car design, there really are no unique or different elements to this ride, besides a really extremely long lift hill. I'd give it a 3 out of 10 for unique elements, which gives it a combined score of 18 out of 30. Not too shabby. With On the Lift Hill out of the way, I will now be moving on to do a bit more about alpine or mountain coasters, the first thing I believe I need to do is dispel the notion that a car with wheels moving down a pipe is a mountain coaster. It is not. It is not a mountain coaster. It is not a roller coaster. A roller coaster must consist of two key elements, a track and a car. A groove in the ground is not a track. Now, to fully understand what a mountain coaster is, we need to define it, and seeing as there doesn't seem to be a super clear definition of what it is, we can define it as a roller coaster that uses the terrain of a mountain to its advantage, climbing it and descending it. We can also add that they generally have single cars capable of carrying about two passengers, and that they deal with simple elements like helixes, bank turns, and lift hills. There are two main Alpine coaster manufacturers. Wigand, and more recently, the Aqua Development Group. Wigand, being the more prominent of the two, having designed and built over 200 installations worldwide, the Aqua Development Group has only created seven of them now, all of which are in the U.S. Some of the more well-known mountain coasters are is the one at Host Imst, the longest one, taking about nine minutes to descend the three-and-a-half-kilometer course, and the one in Park City, Utah, which reaches speeds up to 48 kilometers an hour. As for the actual engineering and technical bits of the ride, the weekend executive representative said that they can design a coaster with a minimum inclination of 6 to 60 degrees. He also states that the coaster's course is dictated by the contours of the mountain. With that, it's time for coaster questions. Today's questions are a bit less about coasters, but I will execute my podcaster duties 
and answer them to the best of my ability. Finn McCormack asks, what other types of roller coasters are there? Well, Finn, there are about 46 others included, but not limited to, hyper coasters, hyper coasters, family coasters, and inverted coasters, among many, many others. The Nitwit Household email asks, will there be other types of podcasts that you will switch between? The answer is yes, I will have a disappearance podcast special coming out about a month from now. Finally, our final question comes from Comic Fan, who asks, what other totally legit companies aren't sponsoring you? Today's sponsors are Monster Donut, making demigods into donuts at a location opening near you. And Psych, the only mystery we can't solve is why we used Comic Sans for our font. Wrapping things up here, I think all of you who sent in questions, it is, as always, greatly appreciated. Also, remember, you can catch these episodes on our website. The link is in the description. Please leave me a comment with your questions for our next podcast, which will be about inverted roller coasters. This has been episode two of Coasters Explained with your host, Everett Johnson. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider considering subscribing. And as always, ride on.